Hello there, and welcome to Montessori Creativity and the Meaning of Life. I'm your host, Robin Norgren, and you are in the middle of a series with me called Love Poems for God. And it is a look or a retrospective on um, poems written um, through um, the vehicles of humans, um, love poems from God, 12 Sacred Voices from the East and the West. And so in my prior podcasts, we have focused on Rabia of the Sufi tradition, and we've uh, listened to some of the poems by St. Francis of Assisi, and most currently, we are listening to poetry from Rumi. Now, I've listened to a lot of poetry and read a lot of poetry from Rumi just through like Instagram posts and things like that. But this was the first time that I really delved um, deeply into the work that he has done. And I uh, even did a brief introduction on the history of Rumi um, in a a prior episode. So go ahead and take a look for that in the archives. Uh, But for now, I'd like to share a few more poems from his collection. This one's called The Silkworm. I stood before a silkworm one day, and that night my heart said to me, I can do things like that. I can spin skies. I can be woven into love that can bring warmth to people. I can be soft against a crying face. I can be wings that lift and I can travel on my thousand feet throughout the earth, my sacks filled with the sacred. And I replied to my heart, Dear, can you really do all those things? And it just nodded, yes, in silence. So we began and will never cease. The next one is called, I am afraid of the daylight. All these miracles are about to drive me crazy. My elbows, my ears, my nose, my wife snagging, and the sweet darkness of the night, and this blanket existence around my soul, and my heart connected to the pulse of every creature. I am afraid of the daylight. Yesterday, God was everywhere, throwing bliss, balls, planets, and their kin. How does God keep from fainting? The wonder of water moving over that rock in the stream justifies existence. The Swiss of The swish of a horse's tail. Again, I am stunned by the grandeur of the unseen one that governs all movement. I resist looking at the palms of my hands sometimes. Have you ever gotten breathless before a beautiful face? For I see you there, my dear. There is a wonderful problem waiting for you that God and I share. How to keep from fainting when we see each other? In truth, how does God keep from fainting looking at himself all day? Light is moving like a stream, and the myriad celestial beings applaud. On a day when the wind is perfect, On a day when the wind is perfect, the sail just needs to open, and the world is full of beauty. Today is such a day. My eyes are like the sun that makes promises, the promise of life that it always keeps each morning. The living heart gives to us as does that luminous sphere Both caress the earth with great tenderness. There is a breeze that can enter the soul. 
This love, I know, plays a drum. Arms move around me. Who can, uh, who can contain their, be their self before my beauty? Peace is wonderful, but a static dance is more fun and less narcissistic. Gregarious, he makes our lips. On a day when the wind is perfect, the sail just needs to open, and the love starts. Today is such a day. Thanks so much for stopping by. Make sure and share this podcast with those who you, who you know might need some encouragement or a little bit of lift in their day. And make sure to subscribe to the podcast in whatever, what, whatever venue you use your podcast uh, medium for. And uh, I truly appreciate you stopping by and listening in.